welcome back to reading The Vortex, which is channeled by Esther Hicks, channeling Abraham. And we're up to part one about your vortex, and we're just about to read flawed premise number one, which is, I am either physical or non-physical, either dead or alive. Many people do not understand that they existed before their physical birth. Many others believe that if they existed in the non-physical before their birth, the non-physical part of them ceased to be once they were born into this body. In other words, I am either non-physical or physical, either dead or alive. We want you to remember that while you're focused here in this leading edge body, in this leading edge time, the eternal, non-physical, older, wiser, larger part of you remains non-physically focused. And because that non-physical part of you exists, because you exist, there is an eternal, undeniable relationship between those two important aspects of you. This relationship, this vibrational relationship, that exists between the physical you and the non-physical you is significant for many reasons. First reason is, the emotions that you feel your emotional guidance system, are because of the relationship between these two vibrational parts of you. Okay, so let us understand that. The emotions that you experience are showing you the relationship. Your emotions can be thought of as a guidance system. What are they guiding you to do? Why do you have emotions? Because they are guiding and informing you about the relationship between you in the physical and the non-physical part of you. They are your constant connection. Number two, as you reach for new thoughts and expansion out here on the leading edge of life, you have the benefit of the stable knowledge of your non-physical counterpart. So, what does it mean to be on the leading edge of life? when I read it just now, I felt like, you know, you're out on a, on a ledge or you're out pioneering, you're out exploring. And if you were to be out exploring or pioneering or doing the new or exploring new frontiers, you would do so with some sort of safety, some sort of harness, some sort of connection. You're not going to go just decide today that you're going to go scuba diving but you haven't calculated um, enough oxygen in the tanks or you're just going to go and not even know how to get back. You're going to have that connection to safety. If you're going to go and climb a new mountain, you're not going to do so without any ropes and safety gear and a plan, unless you're very reckless. You're going to be have that connection. You might go with another person. You're helping each other with your harnesses and so on and so forth. This is what you have. You've come out here or you've come into this 3D existence on this leading edge of exploration and pioneering and you've done so with that total connection to your non-physical self that's always there and provides you with information and guidance and safety and support and all the things that you might want if you were to embark on a new adventure. Number three, as you reach for new thoughts and expansion out here on the leading edge of life, the non-physical part of you has the benefit of the expansion that you carve out of your physical experience. Because it's a relationship, your physical and non-physical, self there's a relationship between the two it is symbiotic as in what you learn and discover and explore and the way in which you expand through having the experience which of course you chose to have for that purpose of expansion that feeds back to your non-physical self providing a lot of enrichment a lot of strength a lot of newness a lot of um you know, deep philosophy and, and all sorts of things like that. The expansion that you achieve here is the expansion of your non-physical self overall. And number four, 
every other relationship you have, that is, with other people, with animals, with your own body, with money, with concepts and ideas, with life itself, is profoundly affected by this all-important relationship between you and you, you the non-physical. So depending on the health of your relationship and your feeling of that ever-flowing energy between you and non-physical you, the better that relationship is, the more it is nurtured, then the more that your relationship with people, animals, your body, etc., will exhibit those same qualities and will strengthen along with that. So that's a really interesting place to start. So flawed premise being that you're just here on your own. Incorrect. You are here and you are still very much attached to and working with and in relationship with, whether it's harmonious or not is up to you, but in relationship with your non-physical self, which is the larger part of who you really are. So how are you going to nurture and grow and encourage that relationship. See you back here for the next part.